Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pagey here once again with another video on The Flash Season 3. And um, yeah, so we're doing a bit of face cam or whatever you want to call this today. And it's just a, something a bit different. Uh, and I'll explain in a second why. But I'm not going to be like this the whole time. There's a reason that I'm doing this, which I'll explain later on in the video. So The Flash is back in a few days. Finally, it's uh, back from the Easter break as I'm calling it because it like between the break there was like Easter holidays and stuff like that. So it's coming back with Arrow and Supergirl returning as well. Supergirl comes back the day before the Flash and Arrow comes back the day after the Flash, obviously. In regards to this week's episode, the Flash does look to have the most exciting episode and hopefully it can deliver on the awesome premise that has been set with Barry going to the future to learn more about Savitar. But what we are going to be going over in this video is the synopsis or description for episode 21 of The Flash Season 3, which is otherwise entitled, Cause and Effect. So just to clarify the upcoming timeline, episode 19 is the episode in a few days where Barry goes to 2024. Episode 20 is revolved around Killer Frost. And then we have episode 21, whose synopsis we will be going over in a second. Now, just quickly before we do that, this is the whole reason I'm doing this face cam sort of thing, if you want to call it face cam. I have mentioned in previous videos, like last week, that I'm going to Supernova this week in Melbourne. Uh, so, yeah, so basically a week from now when this video goes up, that's when it's happening. So it's on the 29th and the 30th. It's also on the 28th at night, but not many people go to that. So the 29th and the 30th in Melbourne supernova i will leave a link in the description below if you live in melbourne and are interested in going and the reason i'm doing this as well is because obviously since the last time i did a video like this i sort of got a haircut so people might not know what i look like exactly at the time they might be looking for a dude with longer hair so yeah i thought i'd uh show you uh like remind you what i look like if you are going to melbourne supernova if you see me don't be afraid to approach me um, I've talked to some people that said they're going I'm like, yeah, dude, if you just see me, I'm fine. I'm not scary. I'm pretty approachable. That's actually one trait I've been told throughout my whole life is that I seem like an approachable person. So take, uh, take hold of that trait of mine, if you want to call it that, and feel free to approach me if you do see me. But anyway, the synopsis for episode 21, otherwise entitled cause and effect goes as follows. Barry takes drastic measures to stop Savitar. Meanwhile, HR continues to push Tracy Brand to design the trap for Savitar. And Killer Frost returns with an interesting proposal. So the first part of the synopsis says, Barry takes drastic measures to stop Savitar. At any other point in the season, if this was in a synopsis for The Flash, I would just be thinking that they are like just overhyping a specific moment and just trying to get us excited for, you know, no real reward if you want to call it that. But seeing that this is in episode 21, the third last episode of the season, you would have to think that this isn't the case and something big would be actually going down. What I am going to take from this though is that Barry will make a decision this episode, which obviously involves targeting Savitar, but he will need to execute whatever he does exactly as he plans. Even if he does prevent Savitar from doing whatever he is doing, not doing so 100% correctly could have dire consequences on not only himself, but possibly others on Team Flash. This would fit in and play out pretty well seeing we would be heading into the penultimate and then the final episode of the season. Next up in the synopsis is, meanwhile, HR continues to push Tracy Brand to design the trap for Savitar. So if you didn't know already, Tracy Brand is a new character who will be introduced in episode 20. However, she could be mentioned in this week's episode, obviously that being episode 19. I do feel Barry will learn in 2024 that Tracy invents a device that would be capable of stopping Savitar. But unfortunately, she does it after the death of Iris. So Barry needs her to do it before Iris' death for obvious reasons. You would have to think the trap that Tracy is building is the one we saw Barry using in those leaked pictures from the filming of the finale. I'm not going to show them here because videos are being taken down. I just don't want to risk it, even though my other videos have been taken down. Knock on wood. But I will link them in the description if you haven't seen them yet. Like it might not happen. The device we see Barry making could be from something else and Tracy is designing something completely different. But at the moment, it is the best bet to put your money on. In regards to H.R. Wells, as the synopsis does say, he will be pushing Tracy to design this trap, which sort of does hint at something between them if we go by the CW relationship formula. 
The Tracy character was spotted at the funeral scene for the finale in apparently, and I stress this word, apparently a very upset mood, which would indicate someone she is pretty close to is actually the one that's in the grave. Tom Kavanagh, who plays all the versions of Harrison Wells, was spotted at the shooting for the funeral scene, but a lot of people seem to think he looked more like the Earth 2 Wells or Harry in regards to how he was dressed and styled. I do sort of swing towards this belief as it would also make sense if HR would, you know, be buried on Earth 1 seeing, you know, Harry's relationship with Earth 19 is at the moment. Also, the Harrison Wells character is pretty expendable seeing we can just bring another version of him from the multiverse in the next season. But their deaths would also still have an effect on the team and us, the audience, because we've been with him the whole season, learned to sort of care about the character, spent a lot of time with the character. So there's still an effect, like an effect from his death, but even his death isn't as vital as another character like Barry or Cisco because they've sort of set up on the show that, you know, there's all these Harrison Wells that they can just bring from the multiverse and they're still, they can fit into the team no matter what. So with HR and Tracy in the next couple of episodes, we could see some hints to HR's future demise. I'm not exactly sure how or in what form, but he does seem to be the top pick for who would die on the team. And the final part of the synopsis is, and Killer Frost returns with an interesting proposal. Now, as I said earlier on in the video, the episode before this one, that being episode 20, is heavily centered around Killer Frost. So I'm not expecting this part of the episode to be like a major focus, but most likely just some follow on from the events of the previous episode. In regards to what this proposal could be, it could be something to do with Savitar. Maybe Killer Frost has some information that she wants to, you know, make a deal with. Like, I'll give you this information, you give me this or something like that. But it's a pretty open question with many possibilities. Like there's multiple, multiple answers that could come from this. So please leave your opinions on what you think it could be in the comment section below. I'm very, very interested to see what everyone can come up with. And like, oh, Killer Frost could be doing this. So Star Labs could do this and so on and so forth. So yeah, just leave your answers to that question in the comment section down below. But thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As I said, not going to do this too often, this was just more for the whole supernova thing, so people uh, noticed what I look like now, seeing that I've got the haircuts, but uh, I might do this every now and then. I do do this with the Q&As, and I'll probably do another Q&A leading up to maybe the last two episodes of the season, it'll be like a big arrow, arrow and flash one maybe, maybe the sprinkle, maybe some sprinkles of Supergirl. But like Supergirl's like, there's got, you got Flash, then Arrow, then Supergirl's probably down here in regards to interest of the show on my channel. Not my interest, just the interest of views and stuff like that and interaction on the videos. So I know what the main focus of my channel is. It's obviously Flash and Arrow. But I'll let you know about the Q&A and stuff like that. It, you know, I'd probably ask maybe like three or four days before I'd make that video. So it'd most likely be in like a review or a trailer breakdown where I'd ask that question for you guys to leave me questions for that Q&A. But yeah, as I said, if you want to leave a like on the video, it'd be awesome. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of all of this. What do you think Killer Frost is up to? What do you think her proposal is? Just leave all of that in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.